The motor shown in the figure produces a torque of 170 newton meter in shaft one, in the bottom shaft. If the shear stress in both shafts must be limited to 67 megapascal, determine the minimum acceptable diameter that might be used in these two shafts. We want to use the same diameter for both shafts. Assume the shafts are having a solid <coughs> circular cross-section area and the number of teeth in gears are given here. Number of teeth in C is 180, number of teeth in B is 54, and number of teeth in D is 72. All right, torque in B, in gear B, would be equal to torque in 1. They are connected together by shaft, and that is equal to 170. Torque at 2 would be equal to torque at C. Now we can establish a relation between gear C and B. Torque at C would be equal to negative gear ratio multiplied by torque at B, because they are connected together, right? TB is known, it's 170, but what is the gear ratio? Is the gear ratio NC divided by NB or NB divided by NC? To answer that, we need to look at the rules that we had before. Is torque increasing when I move from smaller gear B to larger gear C? Yes, so the gear ratio should be larger than 1. So gear ratio is the larger number, 180 or NC, divided by a smaller number, NB or 54, and that gives me 3.33. With that, I can determine how much is torque in the second shaft, and that would be 566.7 newton meter with a negative sign. And now I have both torques. And which of these two torques is used for designing the shafts? The larger one is more critical because I want to have the same diameter for both shafts. So I'm going to consider T2. Now, I simply apply the design equation, which is shear stress, Tc over J, should be smaller than the allowable shear stress. Let's plug the values. Torque is given to be 566.7 newton meter. Sign doesn't matter, so I work with the absolute value. But I need to convert that into newton millimeter by multiplying that by 1,000. C would be half of diameter, and J is pi, diameter to the fourth, over 32. And this stress should be smaller than, the, than allowable stress, which is 67. Now we have one equation with one unknown, and we can solve it for diameter, and we get 35.1 millimeter for this case.